Welcome to episode 1174. David Packett, co-founder of Hewlett Packett, Nine Lessons. This is an outline of episode 1174, lesson one to five. This is lesson six to nine. Lesson one: HP is the birthplace of Silicon Valley. Before that, the place was more like Orange Valley, men in a garage. Famous garage is now registered as the birthplace of Silicon Valley. Lesson two: Start small. It started in a garage. Hewlett Packard was started in 1938 with $538. The name Hewlett Packard was chosen based on a corn toss. Lesson three: Working around the clock. I found an apartment that was down on Madison Avenue, actually still there,、uh, with a garage, and so we set up a little shop in this in this garage, and、uh, and、uh, we'd go to class in the morning, middle of the day, but he worked until two or three o'clock in the morning, and、uh, so I would go up there in front of him and work until midnight or one o'clock. And lesson four: He's an inventor. It is not to be a me too. Uh, but to not go into some area unless you feel that you've got something really to contribute. Because if if we just try and follow someone, you're always going to be at the tail end. Lesson five: He had many failures in the beginning. Our primary interest was to bring some money in the door. We tried all kinds of things. We tried building shocking machines to make people lose weight,、uh, a device to tune harmonicas. Idea about an electric urinal flusher. They did an automatic lettuce picker for the fields. They built a bowling alley foul line indicator. Lesson six: His first breakthrough product was the oscillator. Mentioned in the winter of 1939, when they created an audio oscillator, which they named the HP 200A. This is the first big order, and that came from Walt Disney for the movie Fantasia. They needed really good sound. Lesson seven: The Hewlett Packard Way. The essence of the HP way: top management sets the overall objective and then gets out of the way and lets the people do it. Bill and Dave encouraged people to be brave enough to take the risks and think as large as possible. As an A, he's a great philanthropist. First, he started the David and Lucille Packard Foundation in 1964. Second, as of today, that's August 2021, the foundation has a value of eight billion dollars. As a nine, he inspires future generation of entrepreneurs. Is still felt today in the discovery of the, the Moderna vaccine. That I was invited to a conference in Washington D.C. by the NSF. How、uh, how to go about actually competing in the world. I happened to sit with somebody at lunch, and that person started telling me how 30 years earlier he and another colleague of his had started a new company. I had enough courage to ask him who he was, and his name was David Packard. Asking him as many questions as I could come up with about how one does that, and then I came back to MIT, and I literally decided I was going to start a company. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone. Peace and prosperity.